It is 514, and you know, St. Patrick's Day is on its way, and you know, I don't think I have many green clothing. I need to find something, Abby. Yeah, if you don't have any. Yeah, I don't think I have much mm -hmm. of it. Mm -mm -mm. Especially <laughs> if I go to Murfreesboro. <laughs> well, Murfreesboro is celebrating with two days of events, and Brooke is live now with organizers to learn more. Yeah, good morning, Evie and Dave. Well, right now, I kind of feel like the lead singer of the Counting Crows, you know, a little uh, 90s throwback, but that's for another day and another time. This morning, we are talking about the Murfreesboro St. Patrick's Day celebrations put on by the Chamber of Commerce. So joining me this morning is the president, Jean Baisden. Thank you so much for waking up dark and early with me. We want to talk about the celebration because there's a lot happening, starting with the 5K. Oh, absolutely. Um, so the 5K is uh, sponsored by First Bank and Trust of Murfreesboro. And we want to let you know that there are, uh, you can still register online for a discount, and that is through the uh, 17th. And then uh, once day of comes, it'll be full price. Uh, registration starts from 7.30 to 8.30, and the race begins at 9 o'clock. And that event you told me is a rain or shine event. Hopefully shine, though. I'm really hoping for shine, but... You know, we get what we get. What we get. We'll um, have to see Nick. And yeah, please, Nick. And then uh, also, we we will have trophies for the, for the top male and female runners, and we will be giving out medallions and and t-shirts as well. All right, awesome. So a great time for people to come out and kind of kick off the celebrations. And then later in the afternoon, a couple of hours later, you guys are going to have your parade, which is always uh you know draws a crowd. Oh, it it always does. Um, so the parade's going to start at eleven o'clock, and uh, this year we're going to have. Uh, the Murfreesboro Cruise Knights come in with a couple of classic cars. Uh, the fire trucks from around the region are always welcome. And then in the past, we've had antique tractors, which hopefully we see them again this year. Uh, also, you can still register to be in the parade. Uh, you just go to the MurfreesboroChamber.com and uh, fill out a form. So any individual organization, you're more than welcome to come out. Well, these are just a few of the events that will be happening coming up later on in the show. We are going to be talking about the Irish stew cook-off, which sounds pretty good uh, today with all the cold weather, Nick. Well, we're over here talking about corned beef and cabbage and throwing one in the crock pot this weekend. But uh, yeah, check it in. Uh, maybe one of those hearty meals coming up this weekend uh, with some bitterly cold weather on the way and even a little snow. Uh, enjoy today. We will uh, at least have a quite a bit of sunshine around and some fairly mild temperatures. Live view from Mount Vernon this morning.